how to figure out the size of a pipe fitting. A lot of times you have a bunch of fittings and you don't know what the sizes are. There are a few helpful things you can look for. Sometimes you might need to measure the fitting. Other times there are helpful clues that give away the size right away. Now let's start with schedule 40, schedule 30, galvanized, cast iron, and brass. Now usually those fittings have the measurement right on the hub. This inch and a half schedule 40 fittings is inch and a half on the hub, so now I just need inch and a half pipe for this fitting. Sometimes it might not be that easy. Other times you might have to look for a part number. On this T fitting, the part number is 71115. So you just type that in and you should get a bunch of results for an inch and a half T fitting. So I just give the size off right away. Now sometimes the part number might not even be active anymore like this 1960s Yardley fitting. Now this fitting does have a measurement on the hub, but if it didn't, and I searched for this part number, nothing would come up since this fitting hasn't been made in about 40 years. So we can still measure this. Now a lot of times people can measure this wrong. Now if you just measure the inside of the hub, you'll get the wrong measurement. This is a two inch fitting, but the tape measure reads two and a quarter. That's not a pipe fitting size. If you measure the outside, you get two and a half. That's not the size of this fitting. You want to look for that inner lip. When we measure that inner lip, tape measure reads two inch. So that's the size of this fitting. I right, just need two inch ABS pipe for this fitting. But since this fitting is 55 years old, just get a new fitting. This fitting is so old and brittle. If I put it with my new work, it'd probably fail. I just collect these, so I'm not going to use this. Now let's say your fitting doesn't have an inner lip. It's very common for brass and galvanized fittings, but they're measured the same way as plastic fittings. You can see this fitting has no inner lip, but there's still hope in figuring out the size. So get a bunch of fittings that look to be this size and test them. So, oh, this looks like three quarter. Three quarter nipple didn't fit, so this is not three quarter. Oh, it kind of looks like three eighths, not three eighths. Now let me try half inch because it's in between the two sizes. And that seems to be working. So you can see how that screws in very clean, works very well. So this is indeed a half inch fitting. Now let's go to insert fittings. Now these are a lot more different. Now this is an inch and a half insert fitting that would go inside an inch and a half hose. Now since hose is measured by the inside, this actually measures by the outside. So you can see that is inch and a half. If I measure by the inside, I get one inch. So with these insert fittings, you measure by the outside diameter.